We believe that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. Less than two hours later, and the Manhattan skyline had changed forever. First the South Tower, and then the North Tower collapsed, trapping thousands of people inside. The release of toxic material meant 10,000 people in Lower Manhattan that day were impacted. Many of them contracted cancer. Some have since died. But it wasn't just here in New York that the terrorists had targeted. We believe there has been a third hijacked of a jumbo jet. We also believe, though again not confirmed, but there are reports of an explosion at the Pentagon. Another plane was headed for Washington, but passengers were able to wrestle back control of the aircraft, with United 93 crashing in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. All on board were lost. Back in New York, the death toll was continuing to rise despite the best efforts of the emergency services. More than 400 died that day, including 343 firefighters who ran towards danger when so many thousands of others were running away. I can hear you, the rest of the world hears you, and the people... A month later, President Bush stood shoulder to shoulder with New York firefighters as he authorized Operation Enduring Freedom, saying the U.S. would rid the world of the evildoers. 20 years on, and America continues to rebuild, never forgetting those that perished on 9-11. A single rose is added to the names when those who fell would have had their birthdays. This for Carlos Manuel Morales. This is the footprint of the North Tower. So many people died that day. I was speaking to a national security advisor just the other day. He told me, though, that the security threat to the US is as high now as it was on 9-11. The challenge for President Biden as he visits Ground Zero is to reassure the American people that he can protect the nation.